Hello everyone, and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's All-Star Movies. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at All Star Movies where giant Disney icons jump off the silver screen and come to life. Disney's All Star Movies is located at the Walt Disney World Resort near Orlando, Florida. It's also considered a value resort that offers a reasonable rate and a good location. We're now approaching Cinema Hall. Cinema Hall contains the lobby, front desk, food court, and gift shop. Let's go check it out. Three, two, one, fun. You must be the star of the show. Here's a red carpet that we're going to walk down for the world premiere of Disney's All-Star Movies. We're just gonna go through the double doors here, through the second set of doors, and we're now inside the lobby. Located on the right-hand side is the front desk for check-in. Take a look at the mural behind the front desk. Classic Hollywood. Up ahead here, we're gonna come up to the Disney's All-Star Hall of Fame, and it contains movie memorabilia from Star Wars. Here's a collection of classic Hollywood movies. And there's the man himself, Walt Disney. If we look over just to the left hand side, there's a sign overhead, these double doors here, and it says Walt Disney World Transportation. If we go out these doors, it'll take us out to the bus transportation. But before we do that, we're gonna head over into the Donald's Double Feature gift shop. It's Donald's Double Feature. Let's go inside and see what we can check out. And as we approach the entrance of the gift shop, we're greeted by some nice merchandise from Raya and the Last Dragon. There's some dolls and her companions, and they even have some pops. There's also some t-shirts and plushes. Let's swing around the back side and see what they have to offer. They also have some play sets. Some notebooks and this neat little shirt. This shirt here is $36.99. Let's take a quick look at the gift shop and let's head over here off to our right hand side. And here is one of the merchandise register wraps themed to a box office. And just up ahead is the wheel call or package pickup. Over to the left hand side is some concessions. Towards the back of the store they offer some snacks that include popcorn, candy, and pretzels. But let's reverse our direction and go out the exit doors just over here. These exit doors will take us outside to the bus transportation. Let's go! We're just outside of the gift shop and we've arrived at the bus transportation. All Star Movies provides bus transportation to all four Disney parks, both of the water parks, and Disney Springs. As it turns out, bus transportation here from Disney's All Star Movies be like... One hour later. Let's head back in the double doors behind me and let's go check out the world premiere food court. We're going to proceed through these double doors here, back into Cinema Hall. And just up on the left hand side is the world premiere food court. And we've come up to the world premiere food court. Let's go inside and take a look. And we're just inside the world premiere food court now. Let's go check out the mobile order pickup area. 
Disney's All-Star Movies World Premiere Food Court has a couple of featured offerings and they include the house seasoned grilled chicken sandwich for $11.99 and the plant-based barbecue burger also for $11.99. And we're just coming up to the mobile order pickup area. We're going to make a left here and check out the pickup station. But we're going to look over to our right hand side and there's the register wraps. And here's the refillable drink mug and soda station. But let's look over to our left hand side. And here is a condiment station complete with a microwave and toaster so you can warm up your own food. But let's continue and make a left here and go out these double doors through the exit. We just came out of the exit of the World Premier Food Court. Now we're going to check out the Silver Screen Spirits located on my left hand side. And here's Silver Screen Spirits. Featured drinks include beer and sangria, wine, margaritas on the rocks and frozen, and also non-alcoholic specialties. Now that we've seen Silver Screen Spirits, let's go look at the Fantasia Pool. And here's the Fantasia Pool. We're just going to take a quick look, but we'll come back to this later. If we look just over to the right hand side, we've come up to a directory. Let's go take a quick look. Disney's All-Star Movies is laid out with exterior motel style rooms that are adorned with classic oversized Disney icons. We're just headed down the pathway now. We're headed over to the 101 Dalmatian section of rooms. And we've come up to the 101 Dalmatian section and look at this oversized fire hydrant that's themed to the stairways. And even the concrete is themed with dog bones saying canine crunchies from 101 Dalmatians. Oh, and look here. It's 101 Dalmatians that are running from Jasper, Forrest, and Cruella de Vil. And just across the way is Pongo looking all dapper. And just down below is a photo spot for Junior Explorers. But we'll go check that out in a moment. And just across the way is Pongo's companion, Perdita. And here's a Dalmatian watching the TV commercial Canine Crunchies. And how about Marla Hooch? What a hitter. Now that we've seen the 101 Dalmatian section, let's go take a look at the Mighty Ducks with the Duck Pond Pool. And we're just coming up to the Duck Pond Pool. This is the second pool here at Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. Up ahead is an oversized goalie net. And located just inside the pool area, we come to meet Goofy. Here he is. Hi, Goofy. Straight ahead are some restrooms themed to a locker room. And here's Wild Wings' oversized goalie mask, the mascot of the Mighty Ducks. The Mighty Ducks rooms are faceted with hockey sticks, pucks, fans, and even oversized goalie nets to disguise the stairway. Here's an oversized scoreboard. But now let's go check out the duck pond pool with a bird's eye view. Here's a quick look at the duck pond pool before we go find the love bug section. We found the love bug section. Up ahead is Herbie. He's in the winner circle and it looks like he just won the race. Here's Herbie the love bug himself. He's in the winner circle and it looks like there's a fun fact over here. He took first place. This is the actual car that was used in the Magic Kingdom parades from 1978 to 1990. And there's Herbie, the love bug, coming through the wall. On the opposite side, Herbie's going through the wall. It looks like the pit crew left their tools here in the love bug section. There's a screwdriver, pliers, and wrench. And if you look down in the concrete here, it's also stamped or pressed with tools. Also in the love bug section are movie studio clappers. It looks like Donald directed the Monte Carlo movie. And on the opposite side, it looks like Herbie Gone Bananas was directed by Daisy. But now let's head over to the Fantasia 2000 section and take a closer look at the Fantasia pool. The Fantasia rooms has an oversized jack-in-the-box, ballerina, and 
Toy Soldier. Also in the Fantasia section is Donald and Daisy. It's a meet and greet for the Junior Explorers. Hi Donald, hi Daisy. It wouldn't be complete without some magic brooms from the movie Fantasia 2000. There's also this gigantic, oversized Sorcerer Mickey hat. That's pretty cool. And here's a look at the back side of the Fantasia pool. Up ahead, there's Sorcerer Mickey. Here's a look at Sorcerer Mickey at the Fantasia pool. And here's the Fantasia pool again. And if you look just over to your left hand side, behind that big star, it's Cinema Hall. We're now back on ground level. The Fantasia pool's over on my left hand side. But let's go see Andy's room and find the Toy Story section. All Star Movies has some recreation activities. They offer arts and crafts at the real spot and movie under the stars. And here's a look at the Fantasia pool with the resort guests relaxing. And here's a quick look at a splash pad for Junior Explorers. We're just headed down the pathway here over to Toy Story section, but we'll just look over to your right hand side. There's some themed restrooms along with some laundry facilities. We're coming up to an intersection here. If you look over to your left hand side, there's the large star just outside Cinema Hall and also Silver Screen Spirits. But if we make a right, we're going to head down over to the Toy Story section. Before we look at the Toy Story section, let's go see the playground. Here's a quiet and secluded area with the playground for Junior Explorers. In Toy Story, their stairways are themed to a bucket of soldiers. And just on the rooftops are some green army men. If you look down below here, here's a ping pong table. And just over to the right hand side in the middle of the street is RC. This is a fun photo spot. Up ahead here, it looks like Andy's room. And the door is cracked open. Let's go check this out. As we come through the door, we're greeted with Bo Peep and Rex. You can even stand down on the ground to have your photo taken with Bo Peep. Likewise with Rex, down on the ground are a couple of checkers where you could take your photo for a neat little photo spot. And on the left hand side is a checkerboard with some more checkers. And here's the back side of Andy's room. If you look over to the right hand side, there's some blocks that spell out Woody. And if we continue looking over to the right hand side, there's Woody. Hi Woody. Woody looks so handsome in his sheriff's costume. And if you look carefully, you could even see the name Andy written on his right boot. There's a snake in my boots. Across the way, there's also another set of blocks with the name Buzz on it. And there's Buzz Lightyear to infinity and beyond. Let's go check out the exterior room hallways here at the Toy Story section. There's Sheriff Woody again, but we're going to proceed over to the right hand side and go through this hallway here. Up on the left hand side, it looks like there used to be a payphone and there's still currently a house phone there. There's some steps that go up to the next level and here are the elevators. Let's push the button. And the elevator doors are opening now. Here's a look at the interior of the elevator. Let's swing around to the left hand side and push the button. Let's go to the third floor. Doors are now closing. Now, the doors are opening behind me now and I'm backing out of the elevator. And I'm gonna swing over to my right hand side and we're gonna go down this hallway. And straight ahead is Buzz Lightyear. Buzz is so tall, he practically reaches space already. But let's look over to our left hand side and check out the exterior of the guest rooms here. Each guest room at Disney's All Star Movies has an exterior window. And they have this nice little movie themed room number plaque. And of course, here's the door entry. And in this case, Here's your view of Toy Story and Rex down below. Now that we've seen the Toy Story rooms, let's head back to the Fantasia pool 
and back into Cinema Hall. Follow me. On our right hand side is the world premier food court. Up ahead is the Silver Screen Spirits. And on the left hand side is the pathway that we turned right to go down and see Toy Story. Directly on your left is the Fantasia Pool again. And we're gonna head up straight ahead and make a right and walk under the big star right up there. You are an all-star. You belong in the movies. But now, let's proceed straight ahead and we're gonna go through the double doors back into Cinema Hall. We're gonna go through the double doors here, back into Cinema Hall. But if you look just over on your right hand side, here's another display for Disney's All-Star Movies Hall of Fame. In this case, it has the Muppets. The Muppets take Hollywood by storm. But if we pull back and just look over our left hand shoulder, here's the real fun arcade. At the moment, it's temporarily unavailable, but I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. But if we continue and look on the right hand side, here's some more movie memorabilia stills. Let's continue straight ahead. But off in the distance are some double doors that take you out to the bus transportation. Over towards the left are the restrooms and telephones. And if we make another left, we come back to the main lobby. On the left hand side again is the front desk. But if we look just over to the right hand side, there's a sitting area while you wait for your family or friends for the bus. And here's the double doors and the red carpet again. We're gonna go through these two sets of doors and we're gonna arrive outside and check out the portico. But we're gonna make a left here and head off in this direction. This adventure is running out of time. Prepare for time travel. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's All-Star Movies just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.